Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper back at you with Plugin Boutique. And today I'm gonna show you how to force any MIDI from anywhere into any one of the scales available in Scalar 2. And there are a ton, I'm gonna show you that in a second. But this actually comes from a question in the comments on my latest Melody Sauce video. And their concern was that Melody Sauce 2 only has major and minor scales. And they were wondering how we could get different scales um, other than the major and the relative minors here. So that's what I'm gonna show you how to do, but this effect that I'm about to show you, or this process can be used for things like Riffer from Audio Modern. It can be used with InstaScale by WA Production and any other VST that generates MIDI for you and can also be used with your MIDI files. So it doesn't have to be an AI driven VST plugin that's creating things uh, randomly with the parameters you set in, but it can also be used for just your MIDI packs that you have, or even if you've made MIDI yourself and wanna just transpose it easily, Scalar 2's got you covered. So that's what we're gonna do in this video. That being said, let's jump into it. So you can see here, I'm on the G minor, E minor scale, and I've got Melody Sauce on the channel, and this is what the melody sounds like. So that's the melody. What I'm gonna do is actually drag and drop the melody into the DAW so you can see it. We do that by clicking those four arrows, dragging and dropping. You don't need to do this step, but I just wanna show you using this MIDI in a minute, um, and it's just more helpful that way. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna right click it and just color it green. And the next thing I need to do is take Scalar 2 and drop it on a channel. In Scalar 2, I wanna take the information, the MIDI from Melody Sauce, and put it into Scalar 2. So now the MIDI is coming out of this channel and going into Scalar 2. And what we wanna do is key lock. And I'm just gonna make Scalar 2 a little bit bigger. You can see there's a key lock button. I'm gonna turn that on. And we actually wanna focus on two here. We've got scale notes mapped and scale notes only. We're gonna leave it on scale notes mapped for a second. But essentially scale notes map will say, if an incoming MIDI note is not in the scale that I've chosen, push it to the closest semitone or step that makes sense for the melody. And then scale notes only means if an incoming MIDI note is not in the scale I've selected, just don't play it. So this one, you'll always get the same amount of notes and it will just transpose incorrect notes into the scale. And this one you'll get, depending on how many errors there are, uh, notes will just not play in that position. I'll show you both of those in a second, but let's just keep it on scale notes map for now. Come into scales, let's choose E, and just in E inside of Scalar 2, look at all of the different scales that we have available here. It's a lot. I'm just gonna come in and choose this one at random, E, Locrian Diminished Scale. Now, if I play these right now, we will hear the difference. See if you can spot which notes are different. <laughs> So hopefully you can hear there that there are quite a few notes that are not harmonizing. So there's a big difference and you can actually hear them kind of clashing. They're not necessarily clashing, but for our intents and purposes, if it's not a harmony, it's not working. Next thing I want you to do is pay attention to these locked. You see how there's a lock right there? That's a note outside of the scale that we've chosen, this E Locrian diminished. You can see if I click that, it actually triggers this one. If I click this, it triggers this one. And that's all it's doing. If we play this again, listen and see if you can spot when a lock note gets hit and gets transposed. Isn't that cool? Now, let's say I, you know, so right now I could easily just change the instrument inside of Scalar and we could go with something that way. Let's try something a little bit, maybe a, rim, a marimba. Now let's say we wanna get this MIDI into its own MIDI clip. You cannot actually just trigger the record button on the scaler right here and then hit uh, record. If I do that, and come into auto. And if I just highlight both of those and click in, we can actually see, you'll see that it's the exact same MIDI. Now it's coming out of Scalar. It is not the MIDI we see right here. It's actually different MIDI. So what we need to do, and I know that's a little confusing, but that's just the way it is, is control, control shift T to make another MIDI clip. And in this one, we wanna come out or get the MIDI information from Scalar 2, uh, Scalar 2 again, 
set it to in. We also need to come back into the scaler and make sure it's getting incoming audio. So now it's coming out of here, into here, out of here, into here. And if we record this now, And if I call them auto, just to make sure we can see it, and I highlight these, you look at this. Now you can see, oh, I didn't highlight everything, silly me. Uh, you can see the notes that have been moved. Okay, so if I just come here, this is now forced into that E Locrian diminished, and that's how easy it is, okay? And it's whatever scale we choose now, out of all of the ones we have, we can just force it into there. And that's the, like I said, that's with Melody Sauce, Riffer from Audio Modern, any MIDI that you already have, that's the process of forcing it into a scale and then having that MIDI to work with. Now, let me just show you real quickly before we wrap up the scale notes only. If I click that, and we can just bring this over here and everything should be set up. Make sure you're on in again here. And let's just record that now. And if we come in here, and again, let's just go to auto, you'll see that all of the notes didn't show up and those are the incorrect notes that didn't show up. So you'll have to admit that is pretty sweet. So if you have Scalar 2, any MIDI generation plugin that you have that's for melodies or even chords, this will be able to push it into any one of the available scales in Scalar 2. Not only that, but as I said, if you have a MIDI pack and you want to switch it, you can just easily force it into whatever scale you want. And as I said, there are so many inside of Scalar 2 that, I mean, it's a no-brainer if you're someone who's looking to transpose MIDI, uh, no matter where you're getting it from. Anyway, I'm Joshua Casper here for Plugin Boutique. Links to everything I've mentioned here in the video description. I hope you learned something, and I'll see you in the next video.